This is Quest for Glory 1, and this is a request by the ZTech, who has a great uh, channel with RPG Let's Plays, focusing on the more modern RPGs. Uh, so check him out if, if you haven't already, if you like long Let's Plays of RPGs. And this is going to be another long uh, Let's Play of an RPG, which is one that I played... This is the VGA version, but I played the, the, uh, the one on the Amiga quite a while ago. Um, and then I found this again years later. It's uh, it's quite it's it's an interesting mix of um, RPG and adventure game. And you get to choose one of three character types: magic user, fighter, or thief. And I'm going to go with thief because I don't usually play as a thief, but he has some interesting options in this game. Um, and also, I want to kind of resurrect an old character from another game I've played. And uh, let's uh, put his name in here. Steelor. Yes, it's obviously not the same Steelor from Eye of the Beholder, but kind of like the spiritual reincarnation of the character, if you like. Anyway, now agility is very important for a thief, so let's bump that up a bit. Luck is also important for a thief. No magic, because he's not a magic user. And uh, let's see. Let's give him some stealth and some luck picking. Uh, throwing would be good, I guess, uh, for throwing his weaponry. Climbing. Mm. Uh, no. let's, let's actually give him more dodge because he'll need that. So that'll do for now. Uh, well, that'll do entirely. Actually, do I want? No, I want to give him quite high agility because that's what you need to be a thief. And luck. Yep, that seems good. So let's start Steelor's quest for glory. Now it took me quite a while to figure out what this game was called years later because it was originally called Hero's Quest, along the lines of, uh, you know, Police Quest and so on. But they changed the name because it sounds too much like Hero Quest. <laughs> so it took me ages to figure out that that was changed and this was a new game, uh, the same game. Anyway, this seems like a quiet little town. On the porch ahead of you are two people. The standing one is large, rather ugly, and playing with a yo-yo. <laughs> you modo. Uh, the seated person, smoking a pipe, looks like he might be the sheriff. The man with the pipe greets you. He's got an epic moustache. <laughs> Welcome to our town. You are lucky to have made it down from the mountains before the snow blocked the pass again. It's gotten pretty dangerous outside of town, I understand. Many monsters have been trumped around here with the late snow. Between them and the brigands, we certainly could use an hero around here. I am Sheriff Schultz Meisterson. This is Otto von Goon, my assistant. Good luck in your quest. What quest? Oh yeah, quest for glory. That's right. Look at this guy. There's more than a hint of ogre about this strange and bulky character. He seems cheerful though. Alright, so this is, you know, ostensibly a, a adventure game, you know, like, but, oops, uh, but you also have some RPG elements, like, uh, I mean, oh, yeah, you saw this when I was creating the character, you've got these stats, strength, intelligence, which you would commonly associate with an RPG, but you've also got, like, this uh, adventure game element, you know, and it's a really interesting blend of the two genres. Um, and I really like it, and I loved it as a kid. Um... Yeah, and I, I I never did very well, and I can't really remember if I finished uh, finished it uh, when I found it again. But anyway, this should be quite fun. Now this is the magic shop, and I don't think I can. There's not much point in this place when you play as a thief, as I understand it. Yeah, creepy. Oh, the gargoyles got excited. Oh! Oh, hello! Wow, she's fit. <laughs> I am Zara, and my companion is Damiano. The items in this shop are designed for those skilled in the use of magic. Oh. Zara has a mysterious, unearthly look to her. You have a feeling that she is not a person to trifle with. Oh, I shouldn't ask her out then. <laughs> Okay, ask about 
of Zara. I am both human and fairy folk. I draw my power from both. My name is Zara. This is my shop. I have a thing for redheads. Fairy folk. We are people of power and magic, and live in the forest far beyond the mountains to the west. Okay. Power. Power is the essence of magic, that which the wizard shapes and is shaped by. Something else. Let's ask about the gargoyle. Demiano is both my familiar and my friend. We share our lives and our magic. And yeah, magic users have familiars. A familiar is a creature of magical abilities which have been summoned to serve the wizard and give him a little combat boost because he's a bit weak. <laughs> you know. The summoning of a familiar is a most powerful spell and can be cast but once. It binds the wizard and the familiar to the ends of their lives. The more powerful the wizard, the more powerful the familiar. Although well, you cannot always judge power by a familiar's shape. Okay. Uh, ask about Spielberg. There is much magic in this world for those who know how to use it. There is magic in this little town and a good deal of magic in this valley. Yeah. But I don't think there's much I can learn. Can I talk to Legago? And he's not familiar enough with you to want to chat. <laughs> nice pun. Oh, look, I gained a score point. I don't know why. Yeah. Okay, see ya. See ya, Zara. You can't help me in this incarnation. Well, I might try to steal from you later, although that's really probably not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, as a thief, uh, you have... Uh, let's see. Where's my uh, inventory? There we go. I have a lockpick. You have one lockpick. It weighs 0 0.1 pounds. And... Uh, Food rushes. Yeah, you have to eat in this game. <laughs> she's the only sane person here. At least she's not off her rocker. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's terrible. She's really sleeping soundly and doesn't seem to notice your presence. <laughs> yeah, alright. <laughs> okay. Guild Hall. Judging from what the sign says, the building at the end of the street is the Guild Hall. Your powers of observation are oh, astounding, Steelor. <laughs> Let's check it out. You enter the Adventurer's Guild Hall. Yeah. This Adventurer's Guild Hall reminds you of the one in your hometown. The traditional Moosehead and other stuffed monsters, Saurus, Troll, Griffin, Dragon, Cheetor, and the terrible Antwerp adorn the walls. You see a registration book on the table, and the bulletin board full of job listings. The man seated near the window must be the guildmaster. He's snoring. <laughs> yeah, so chat with the guildmaster then. The guildmaster appeared to be hard of, hard of hearing, maybe you should get closer. Yeah, good idea. Take your time, mate. You can run, but it uses up stamina, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> oh, well, what? <laughs> Uh, okay, how close do I have to stand? This is one of these Sierra games that makes it really difficult to... Hmm? Um, uh, yes, as I was saying, where were we? Uh, Guildhall. Uh, this is where an adventurer can find out who needs someone brave and courageous. There are many jobs on the bulletin board over there. It's also a good place to talk about adventures on a cold afternoon. We used to play cars here once a week as well. But there are too few adventurers in Spielberg anymore. They all died from monsters or brigands. Or oh, they just got too old. Good news. Uh, adventurers. Did I ever tell you about the time when Schultz and I rid this valley of Antwerps? Yeah, we were real adventurers then. And this was a real guild hall. Now we're just old men and this is a, just a place to tell old stories. Uh, monsters. You can see some of the types of monsters that live around here if you look on our walls. There are trolls, griffins, cheetors, mentrees, and goblins wandering in the woods. I hear there are even some ogres and saurus rexes back in the valley. There was a time when Schultz and I had gotten rid of most of the monsters around here, but we're just too old for that now. Yeah, there's a lot of these monsters to talk about. Trolls. Trolls are very tough. Fortunately, they only come out at night. The woods are very dangerous at night. Saurus? The Saurus is a monster easy to avoid and easy to kill for a skilled adventurer. Oh, well, it should be pretty tricky for me then. Ogres. Ogres are a lot like goons, but even meaner. 
Not as bright though. Oh, like Otto. Let's see. Goblins? Goblins are not tough. But when they gang up, they can take out an unwary adventurer. Cheetor? Cheetors are ferocious creatures that charge out of nowhere and try to tear you to shreds. Sometimes they succeed. <laughs> Mentres. Those weird things are magical. They're best avoided. Saurus Rex? Don't mistake those things for sauruses. When they come at you, it's sometimes best just to run away. Alright, something else? Yeah, bulletin board. Over on the wall over there is where the jobs are posted for adventurers. Some have been there a long time now. There just aren't too many... There aren't, there aren't too many good adventurers around here lately. Uh, not ideal for me then. Uh, reward? About what? You need to talk to the bar Baron or the Healer about that. Healer? Her house is just north of the town gate. She's a nice woman. Castle. Castle is just north of the Healer's house. Okay. I do remember that, actually. Uh, trophies. Schultz and I killed most of the monsters on those walls. Let's have a look at them. Looks like it must have been a particularly nasty troll. You wouldn't want to meet him in a dark forest. Black Reach troll slain by Wolfgang Abenteur. Even in death, this monster remains awesome. Black Reed's dragon, slain by Baron Stefan von Spielberg. Yeah. The head is like a panther's, but with a strong human-like quality. It is still rather frightening. Black Reed's cheetor, slain by Wolfgang Aventure. And this? This is certainly a weird one. You've never seen anything like it. The Black Reed's Antwerp, slain by two guys from Andromeda. Hmm. Okay, let's look at the bulletin board then. Uh, reward for the return of Lost Ring. Inquire at the healers. This poster is rather dusty and faded. The picture is of a small child with braids. Reward of 50 gold coins for the safe return of Elsa von Spielberg. Inquire at Spielberg Castle Gates. Reward of 30 gold coins for the capture or death of, brigand war of the Brigand Warlock. Description, short, ugly, and wears brightly colored robes. It's not me. <laughs> it's a habit of laughing continuously. Inquire at Spielberg Castle Gates. Wanted brigand leader. Description, unknown appearance, wears a cloak. Must provide proof of leader's identity. Reward 60 gold coins and title of hero of the realm. Inquire at Spielberg Castle Gates. Notice, spell components needed. Cash or trade for potions. Inquire at the healers. Okay. The poster seems to have been here a while. A picture of a handsome but arrogant young man. Reward of 50 gold coins for information leading to the return of Baronet Barnard von Spielberg. Inquire it. Yeah. Okay. Lots of stuff about the castle. Let's uh, take a look at this registry. This entry was made several years ago. It says, Baron of Baron von Spielberg killed a troll near the Flying Falls on the 23rd day of October. <laughs> Can I sign it? You sign your name into the adventurer's logbook with a flourish. Nice. Can I take the pen? You've already done that. Yeah, all right, fine. Can I steal this suit of armor? The past adventurer's armor suit. You wonder why he doesn't need it anymore. And then you see the Cheetor claw marks. Oh dear. Right. What's this over here? This tapestry is so wanted, it probably fall apart at the slightest touch. Oh good, touch it. This tapestry feels very old and very fragile. Oh, but it didn't fall apart, and I slightly touched it. I wanted it to fall apart. I guess they didn't want to animate it. Come <laughs> uh, on, leave. There you go. Alright. I don't think I can go in there. Because, like, it's her house. Let's try anyway. Hmm. You won't go up there. I guess it's because she's there. Alright. Yeah, one main difference... Oh, why have I got so many score points? <laughs> I don't know why. Um, one of the main differences between this and the uh, EGA version, I think, is that... Um, you don't have to basically in the old one you'd have to type everything you wanted to do like like in a text adventure uh, and I prefer having it sort of laid out for me I'm 
not quite. Oh look, it's a cat man. These creatures are weird. Look at him. Welcome, welcome, traveller, to the Hero's Tale Inn. I am Shamin at your service. May you find what you seek here. Uh, can I pet him? You'd think better of it. Those claws look sharp. Okay, let's have a chat. Very good food, very good drink, finest in town. Sit, rest, you will serve by my Shima. Uh, I don't think I need food yet. Um, yeah. This guy needs to eat like twice a day. But, oh, that reminds me, I can check the time of day. Let's do that. Uh, wait for me to get out. Uh, where is it? Uh, there we go. Midday on day one. Okay. Not much time has passed yet. Let's have a further chat with this guy. Uh, name. I'm Sheriff Schultz Meisterson. This is, yeah, I already asked him that. I don't know why that was a. Yeah, tell me about Otto. Otto's a big help to me. He's very smart for a goon. His prisoners only suffer a few broken bones when he grabs them. It took a bit of doing to teach him to bring prisoners back alive, but he hardly ever forgets now. <laughs> I'll talk about prisoners. It's simple. When someone breaks the law and we catch him, we hold him prisoner. Uh, yeah, that is kind of simple. Uh, the mountain. You should know you came down from there. Fair enough. Town. This town was named after the Barons of Spielberg. Not the director. It used to be a lively place to be before the brigands came and drove all the business away. You can find a place to stay at the inn next door. You can learn about the jobs available at the guild hall down the street. If you're interested in magic, you should visit the magic shop. There's still plenty to do and see here in Spielberg. Okay, uh, the Baron. Baron Stefan keeps mostly to himself at, the, at his castle north of here. We haven't seen him here in town for years. Uh, guild hall. The guild hall is southwest of the corner. If you're looking for work, yeah, I've already been there. Uh, the inn. Go talk to the innkeeper. Yeah, just trying to see if he has anything useful to say. Uh, the brigands. There's a whole band of brigands hiding out somewhere in the mountains around us. They robbed a merchant just like last week. Got a fair amount of treasure right here. Uh, maybe I can join them. <laughs> oh wait, what's here? There's a sign on the door that says. The sign on the door of the barber shop. It says out to lunch. Damn it! You mean I can't get a haircut in this game? That sucks. Looks like he could use it. 